Good evening. The digital transformation that has been sweeping every industry has also massively changed our lives and the way we work and interact with others. The way in which we spread our information, everywhere we go, we leave a breadcrumb trail, we interact with our friends through digital mediums, digital applications, digital tools, we're often checked in, tagged, we share photographs. Even the digital devices that we share show where we are, GPS coordinates, leave a, a digital breadcrumb trail of all of the things of which we are doing in our lives. Ultimately, sharing with our friends, our family, and leaving behind a legacy that is our digital twin, literally our lives as a virtual digital twin. All of the things that we do, all of our interactions, and all of the people we interact with. My name is Ryan Raker, and I'm a professional marketer by trade. I'm also perhaps a, a, a few other things as well. So a professional marketer, a technologist, an adjunct professor, and perhaps most importantly, a brand. Today I'm going to talk to you about defining your personal brand and leaving a legacy in something that is so much so uh, the digital age. When I was asked to, to start thinking about this, I started to think about brands and ultimately I thought about some of my own brand, the personal brand, the brands that we know of, of famous companies, but I also thought about this circle the one in which I stand on, that all of us have come to know, that represents, without saying a word, without much of any action or forward thinking, tells us TED. So this evening, I challenge you to also challenge your status quo. Challenge the way in which you think of your brand and how you interact with others. With many brands, they start somewhere. And I like to think that the personal brand starts somewhere in middle, middle childhood and teenage years. It's something folks refer to as the coming of age years in many of our lives. For me, I attended uh, an all boys Christian prep school. And it's a time where it, with these schools, I would put on a tie every day, put on a sports coat, often the type of brand that you would imagine for the all boys Christian prep school. As you can see tonight, I'm not wearing a tie. My brand has changed over the years from a Christian prep school boy to a professional in marketing, a speaker on stages, and I've begun to learn that the brand evolves as you evolve, but you also have the ability to control the way in which you leave this digital brand. When I start thinking about the journey of building a brand and I think about my high school years, there's the idea of meeting friends, the ideas of going out for the first time when you first get your license, taking pictures, be sure not to share the pictures of that underage drinking or smoking a cigarette. That would be absolutely forbidden and it will scar you for life. But you're starting to think about adulthood. You're starting to hear those lessons of things you should and shouldn't do. And then, of course, going to university, all of those bad pictures that were shared on the internet. Make sure those are covered up. Be sure not to say anything that you would regret from those university admi administration or the admissions office. Of course, you're now leaving school you're leaving your childhood friends and moving on, meeting new people after you graduate. One thing about the high school photograph that I share is one that didn't have all of the accolades, the cords, because this was the starting of a brand. But when I enter university, I started to walk the halls and the classrooms and the campus of Widener University, and I walked with my father, who, who passed away in 2018. But when we walked the, the campus for the first days, he said to me, Ryan, how will you leave a legacy? Across Widener University, there was many buildings with, with last names. There was many trophies and cabinets. Of course, other students who had their own accolades and students who told their stories to parents and interviewers of all the great things that they had done. He says, Ryan, how will you be remembered at Widener University? And I thought, well, the same way I was at high school, a bit of a troublemaker, a bit of an outward thinker, I thought differently, but how would this brand be received in a positive light and perhaps not the troublemaker, but actually one who invigorates thoughts and brings together people? So I thought about this as I started to, to meet new folks and, and, and I thought about how I would want to be remembered. But of course, all of the things that I was doing was shared, an email, a text message, a photograph. All of these are things that left the digital trail the digital experience of what I had at the university. And I could share that with my dad, my family, my friends from back home. 
So how will you be remembered when so much of what you do, so much of what you share, is checked in, photographed, documented, and last long beyond your life. For my father, when he passed, we, we did one of these, these things where we all come together as a family, and we, we started these picture boards. And many families remember this when you have a funeral. You piece together these picture boards, and you give a lot of memories of the lives and the, the really great things that you've shared with that person who's gone and passed on. As I think about what my picture board may look like, it's probably not going to be on paper. It's likely going to be a digital legacy. When I look at the things that I was able to do at Widener University to leave a legacy and be remembered, there's a lot to be proud of. When I graduated, I had a lot of these chords which shows that I was active and participated in things and that B plus high school student turned into a, you know, a shooting star, an A student, one who graduated with honors. So these are things when I look back at the memories, when I graduated the university, I could wander the halls and point to my dad and say, look, dad, there's that photograph from that event. There's that trophy in that cabinet from that, that game we won or that playoff and championship we won. But like the digital transformation that has shape-shifted everything that we know, so too have these physical photographs and trophies gone on to change. As years have gone by, of course, there's many other students many other students who have gone on to make the same accolades, some even greater. And those walls are sometimes transformed to become new classrooms, new learning environments. For me, sure, I no longer stand on that wall, but if you do a Google search, if you search the internet today and you put Ryan Raker and Widener University, you'll find a different legacy. One of which shows a professor. It shows student reviews, a student gone educator. All of these things, are the digital legacy, the breadcrumb trails, or perhaps that digital twin of the things I have involved myself in and are, have a lasting digital legacy. As we think about brand and legacy, there's a lot more than a brand than a logo. A brand is really the experience, the face, the things behind the story. For me, I created a bit of a brand here, but you can see this logo is so much more a public speaker, an educator, a fun, a real guy who's fun and engaging. And I kind of put together what I thought was a bit of a picture board. Some of the things that you may find that I've shared, I've been tagged in, and others have shared about me. But everything that we do today is oftentimes shared in a digital medium. When you look at the transformation of COVID-19 and the 2020 pandemic, much of our interactions were changed to be online. All of the communication oftentimes record it, document it, and leaving a lasting impression that will far outlive our individual lives. How will you be remembered? Will it be for being behind a screen? Will it be for being kind, creative? All of the things that you have today give you the ability to shape your brand and give to others. When we talk about business and brands, because that's often the time that these things become related, I think about a quote from Jay-Z. Jay-Z says, I'm not just a businessman, I'm a business man. And what he means by this is the idea that, yes, there's a business, and yes, there's things that he's involved in, but him, as a businessman, he becomes a brand. He sells his skills, his talent, his entertainment, his brand. Now, yes, of course, Jay-Z is this esoteric character, a famous person, but how many people have a smartphone and a digital platform in which they can share at any moment the information and the things that they're up to? Oftentimes, we hear of, of influencers who have built careers and really have made a, a name for themselves or a true brand for themselves. I challenge people to start thinking about this because there's a new normal, there's a new era coming, if it hasn't already hit us. These digital platforms allow us to stay connected at any moment, sharing anything. And all of that are things that largely we control, and we can shape shift the way in which we are perceived on these digital platforms. We can choose what to share, who to connect with, what pictures we want to be in, seen in, our privacy settings of our social media, and all of the things that we participate in. 
And as I said, all of this will far exceed our lifehood and will go on to leave that digital legacy. So what does this mean, a digital legacy? Well, there's a few ways to get there. Believing in yourself, believing in your goals, and believing in your network. Now, lots of people struggle with believing in themselves. But I challenge the norm. Everybody has this power in their hand. The ability to post and share, interact with others through first impressions, through digital impressions. If you think about this today, oftentimes when we go and we meet people, whether it's in person, the old-fashioned way of going out and grabbing a coffee, or the, no the new norm of, of swiping left and right, these things that some people call dates happen digitally or they can happen in the real world. But if you don't believe in yourself, how do you present yourself in these digital platforms and in person and beyond? Well, it connects to the second point. You must believe in your goals. If you're on these dating apps, are you sure you're ready to start dating? If you're looking to get six-pack abs, have you been reading up on all the things it takes to get six-pack abs? Have you been doing the work to go get six-pack abs? Beyond that, are you communicating with others? Because believing in your network, the networks that extend far beyond just your friends, but extend into the digital realm of the, the various connections that you may have today on social media, but on the ultimate, the bigger world of connections that are available now through these digital mediums. I had a friend recently who was looking for a new job. And I said, well, of course, you have a lot of skills. You'll easily get, get hired. He says, yeah, but they're doing these virtual interviews. Virtual interviews, of course, that's normal. It's the new normal. It's the new era of work. Everything's digital. No big deal. So they go to this, these interviews, and of course, they, they, were, they were pitching their goals. They're pitching who they are, ultimately pitching the brand. And I started to shape shift the way in which they were thinking about their individual brand and started to challenge them as, as I'm challenging the status quo of, of, of building a digital legacy and a digital brand. I said, well, look, believe in yourself. Believe in your goals and make sure that you know what they are and then believe in your network. And the one thing that, that massively changed in, in their job search was one thing, the ability to share, I am looking for a job on all of the digital mediums in which they participated in. It was only a few days later that someone reached out to this person. They said, I saw your skills. I saw you're looking for a job. Are you ready? Of course, they were ready. And through their digital, their digital platforms, they were able to connect with this opportunity. So as we think about brands, the legacy of our brand is not just about who we meet, how we meet them, how we introduce ourselves. So much of what we do today exists in a digital form. Whether we check in, someone tags us, the smart devices say hello in the morning, our text messages are shared to our friends, all of this is building on who we are. And much of who we are is now existing in the digital world. For many of us, we have the abilities, we have the skills, and we can build these brands and we can communicate with others through our digital platforms and build the positive brands that we want to be. We have the technology. Just about every internet connected device has the ability to share and connect with others. And you have the know-how, whether it's to leave a lasting digital picture board that you control and you write the history on, or one of which your friends can talk about for years beyond. Everyone, your brand is you. It's a new way of thinking. It's not just about you as a human being. It's now you in the digital realm and all of what we create and all of what we do. So much of which will far, will far outlive our lives. Your brand is you, and I challenge you to leave a digital legacy and start building your personal brand. Thank you.